speaking of music, we're kind of here to talk about culture shift. Patrick, you got like your hands way full, but you want to talk about cool. culture <laughs> shift, man? The idea behind it. I came about from wanting to do um, wanting to do something different in Charlotte because the the local Charlotte scene really needs uh, needs some help, in my opinion. People don't care about a show, but if there's an event, you actually take the time to make a flyer and you make it a whole thing, and you actually put time into promoting it, mm -hmm. then people are gonna come out. But Culture Shift is a whole experience of bringing fun, and the, it's the whole atmosphere yeah. that comes with it. It's not just the music, it's not the individual parts, it's the sum of all of it. Yeah, and I, I and definitely want to, you know, as the curator behind it, I want to grow it. I want to have art vendors, I want to do it outside eventually, and the name came from, I, I came up with a name Actually, because I wanted to use the name for a music festival. I am super excited about the show because you know what? Talk about two bands, uh, three bands. Well, I'd say the third, but I don't know. They ain't even here. They ain't so, here. So screw them. Slacking. <laughs> so uh, slacking. the two bands that are gonna be there, <laughs> but it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fantastic. I mean, we did a mesh up sh mesh up show. Uh, we didn't mesh up that too much. It was, it was so good. It was so, so good. good. It was so good. So when we were there, it was a bit billiard. Oh, it was both of us. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, they yeah. they yeah. played, yeah. And yeah. I played with them a little bit. Oh, like yeah. us individually, and we're okay. Eh. But when we do <laughs> Akita slash Ganzo, I don't I, I'm, Akanzo. I'm, a Kanzo. A Kanzo. Ganzita's good. Ganzita. Ganzita. Ganzita's legit. That shit, everybody. <laughs> everybody was dancing and reaching as high as they could off their toes and jumping. Yeah, you get some knowledge drop. Yeah. Right. This now is Patrick know. Buckley. Yeah. So, yeah. so when we do the second the culture that's shift, that. uh, the, <laughs> last, learn the, date. the last set that's played um, will be Aerodynamics. And after his set, Every member from every band is going to get up on stage and be playing. Oh, so there's going to be a there's going to be percussion plus drum set plus two guitars. Dude, you plus didn't tell me that, man. <laughs> Don't worry, you're the only sax player. This is, this is actually yeah, that we, makes we, it worse. We are the we are the biggest aerodynamic fans right now, and it's actually this is this is for them. They're so exclusive, but they're not even here. <laughs> but we will see them at the show. We've never played with them ever, and we're gonna step up and play music with them. Yeah. It's it's super elusive. They're phantoms. They are phantoms. At they are one phantoms. point, we're all just gonna walk off the stage and let Aaron loop everything. But honestly, okay. though, not to get back to the boring shit, but like <laughs> what Tommy's talking about though is it's a whole experience. Yeah. That you got a bunch of good bands. You got a, yeah. a really great vibe. It's gonna yeah. be dancing, it drinks, everything. It's gonna be just an overall fun experience. Rabbit Hole, you were telling me about how they were running the sound and how the stage is set up, and yeah. Yeah. it's a little elevated with a little fence thing. I mean, I've never been there, but yeah. I'm excited. Rabbit Hole's a pretty legit venue, dude. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm.